Hey y'all, it is Vlogmas Day 23. We're so close to 10. Uh, I am in a new location. You can see I have a <laughs> child bed behind me. Uh, I am at my sister's house and uh, we're having Christmas here tomorrow. My family celebrates Christmas on Christmas Eve for some reason. Uh, I think it was originally so that we could like go to farther away relatives houses for Christmas to actually like see them on the day and we just got used to it and now we just do it that way so Christmas Eve it is uh but yeah that's where we're at that's what we're doing um it's a pretty low-key video because I spent most of the day driving here and then like hanging out with family but I wanted to check in and say hi and uh let you know how things are going we're doing a pajama Christmas, so I'll have to show you my outfit uh, tomorrow when I'm all dressed up in my jammies. I am going to do some like makeup, and I think I'm going to paint my nails and stuff, but uh, it's going to be pretty low-key, comfy Christmas. Uh, I'll just show you, you know, like our spread and the, out, you know, the, the tree and all that stuff. Uh, it should be good, but, you know, it'll be pretty chill, low-key videos probably for the next few days. My drive to get here is like two two and a half to three hours um so i had my friend Brittany chatting with me in the car so thanks Brittany, for <laughs> talking to me so i had something to do um i am never sure if i'm gonna be able to make it to my family's house for christmas because the pass is sometimes not passable uh i have to go over mountain pass because my family lives on the east side of washington and uh it's not always super doable but it was this year which is awesome uh and i'm happy that i was able to make it over safely without issue and i hope everybody else is having safe travels where they're doing i did want to briefly talk about um i was considering not going to Christmas at my family's this year um because I've been like really anxious and depressed and like just having a hard time lately with emotional stuff and the idea of driving here and like the stress of having to deal with all that was like really bad for me and so I was like maybe I don't do that you know like maybe I just stay uh my place in western Washington and like just hang out with my roommate and relax um and yeah, so I was considering not coming and I even told my sister, like, I don't know that I'm going to make it. So like maybe, uh, just, you know, so that she knew, but, uh, I decided early today that I was like, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. The past looks good. I think I can make it. Let's try to do it, you know? And the way that I was able to come to that conclusion was therapy. Uh, I... Like I said, I was really anxious and I had therapy on Thursday over the phone and I was telling my therapist how I was feeling um, and I was really honest about it. You know, my therapist, whenever we talk on the phone and when we talk in person, the first question is like, how are you doing? And normally I try to be like, oh, pretty good, whatever, whatever, you know, like social answers you give. And this time I was like, honestly, bad. Uh, anxiety so bad, feeling miserable. Um, and I would really like to feel better. Uh, and that was... I think a great choice and my therapist was super helpful and uh yeah i'm switching views here a little bit because my arm was getting tired um but yeah my therapist was like super helpful in you know like validating like why i'm so anxious and so stressed out in giving me advice on like how we can work on that and like brainstorming with me just like ideas of like what makes me feel more comfortable right now when do i feel less anxious like how can i do those things more and you know just talking about it having somebody to just like you know, be there and listen and to really feel like, uh, you're, you're being taken seriously, you know, like that your emotions are real and serious and matter is huge. Uh, and then, you know, gave me some good ideas and, uh, earnestly, one of my favorite things about therapy is just like talking about it with her, put me in the headspace too, to be like, what can I do to like improve stuff for me? And like, what, ways am I thinking about my problems that are like debilitating to me that are like this because I am interpreting my current stress in a specific way in my mind now I am having a reaction to it that's like not really like good or like realistic or um uh, doesn't serve me I guess is the best way to say it and so I was like, what can I do to fix this where like, you know, I can reframe this so that I'm less anxious, so that I'm more confident and that I can like be of more service to myself. 
And that was why I started doing the cable management the other day. I was trying to think of like, well, what can I do to funnel my energy? Cause I have like a bunch of anxious energy. Uh, like what can I do with that energy? That's like helpful. That would like make me happier, make me less stressed out. Uh, like what problems can I accomplish fully on my own? Since that, you know, the current big looming thing is not something that I can accomplish right now. And like, what can I do to just feel like I'm more kind of like comfortable and in control, but also like more, less like anxious that you know like I might not achieve whatever or that I might not get what I need you know um we were able to do that and I was really happy uh and in the past few days I've been like in a much better mood I've been much happier I've been much less anxious and uh you know part of that is like my roommate uh Alyssa, thank you so much, um, was able to help me like watch my dog and so I was able to like relax more on my own um and you know, I was just able to, like, get out of my own head and, like, not be, like, f just, I just felt like I was getting, like, tighter and tighter, you know, s screwball of tension, basically, and I was able to, like, you know, like, kind of rework some of my thoughts to, like, loosen that a little bit, and then, um, the projects I've been doing have been helping, and just, you know, being like, it's gonna be okay, you're gonna figure it out, it's not a big deal, like, we'll get through this, this is just right now, and it's not fun, um, it was huge, and I'm not here to give you a bunch of advice, um, but just, you know, if you're feeling similar, I just want you to know, it's gonna be okay, you're gonna get it figured out, things will be fine, and, uh, I've, you know, I have confidence that you'll be able to do whatever you're trying to do, um, and that it will happen if you, like, put in the work, to make it happen for sure and is that gonna be true of everything no of course not um but i think much more likely if you have that attitude going into it and also if you just have like you know um if you just let yourself be hopeful and confident about it i think part of the problem is uh i've been working on this and this may this may be too like esoteric and weird for people um but like I think a lot of people are afraid of hoping for things because they're afraid of being let down, right? Which is, like, fair, because that's possible. Like, when you get invested in something and you put a lot of, like, thought and hope into it, uh, you might be disappointed, and, like, being disappointed sucks. And so people try to avoid it, obviously. Um, but I've been trying to divorce those, like, two ideas in my mind that I'm like, I think I can just be, like, hopeful and excited about stuff, and if it doesn't happen, I can be okay with that you know, uh, that I can hope for better things, and just, if they don't come to fruition, like, right now, that I don't have to feel bad about that, uh, because hope is such, like, a beautiful, nice thing to, like, have, and to think about, and, you know, to hold in your heart, and I do think I've been much happier, and much, I've been much more capable of doing kind of anything, when I've been, like, hopeful, and I've believed in myself, and, yeah, so, hopefully that's useful to someone, uh, that, I mean, you know, you can be hopeful for stuff and, like, not devastated if it doesn't happen, right? You can just be excited about a positive outcome and not have an equal amount of negative feelings about, uh, a negative outcome for you. Um, and obviously, once again, this doesn't apply to everything, but I do think that, like, allowing yourself to hope is important and, remembering, you know, I think hope can combat a lot of negative things, including anxiety. So I was like, you know what? No, we're going to be hopeful that like, even if this thing doesn't happen on a timely manner for me, that it's going to happen eventually. I just have to work on it and we're going to get there. And like, I immediately felt like relief and like so much more confident that I would be able to do it, uh, and be able to like accomplish my goals. So, uh, I highly recommend that <laughs> my Christmas gift to you hope um hopefully that's uh useful to someone you know <laughs> anyway uh I want to go hang out with my family we just got dinner um but I wanted to put up a video I didn't want to miss vlogmas and I just feel really good and like I said I've been feeling pretty bad um and I want to be honest about how I'm feeling so I wanted you to know that like you know therapy was helpful for me and that I'm feeling a lot better and uh, I'm feeling hopeful and feeling good. So I hope uh, some of you can feel that way too. I hope this is contagious and you can carry this into the new year and we can all be more like hopeful. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Have a good holiday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.